Yo, this is the story of how I broke my wrist and was in my first music video. I was 18 years old in Arizona, going to high school, you know, in school full time, never had any modeling or acting work in my whole life. And I get an email one day from my agency that I had just signed with probably last year. And they say, hey, uh, do you know how to skateboard? And I was like, I don't know how to fucking skateboard, but like I know how to like, like no, I didn't know how to skateboard, but I was like, yeah, 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 I know how to skateboard. That's what that's what you do in the entertainment industry. Okay, I I'm five years since that, so I'll tell you right now, if you get asked if you can do something, you can fucking do it. You're the best at it. Do you know how to ice skate? Fuck yeah, best ice skater in the world. If you know, do you know how to throw a football? Yes, bro, so good. Uh, what is your basketball? I'll keep it real. And they're like, what is your love for basketball? They're looking for someone. And basketball is where I'll be like intermediate. That's where I'll say intermediate. But uh, everything else, yeah, I'm the best at it. Do you know how to play tennis? Sure, sure. Are you good at running? Good at yoga? Yeah, the best. Like. You put, put yourself in a position to succeed. Look at my hat, I made this hat all by myself. Um, and look at my pants. Okay, so now we're gonna say, um, so now they're like, you know how to skateboard? I'm like, fuck yeah. They're like, all right, well, they're choosing between you and this other guy for this music video, I'll let you know. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Because modeling and this stuff, the entertainment shit was never, ever, ever in the picture for me. Well, I, I end up getting it. So then I'm like, hey, these people are, are coming down to, they're gonna be filming this in Chandler. Uh, this is where the guy is from. Wow, they're gonna be shooting it next week. You're gonna miss two, three days of school. Like, how does that sound? Me, I'm like, I will never put, I will never ignore, I mean, I'm out of school now, but like, I would never ignore an opportunity, like an opportunity, that a real opportunity for like, to not miss a day of school. Like, fucking blow me, dude. Like, shut up, okay? It's not that fucking deep. You can go, have some life experience. You don't need to like be present in like Mr. Johnson's history class, okay? Tell him to go suck it. So anyways, I go to, so I'm like, great. They're like, great. Well, it's going to be next week and uh, we're going to do this thing. I'm like, fuck yeah, I better learn how to fucking skateboard. So I'm learning how to skateboard and I'm practicing. I go to the park. I go to Arcadia Park by uh, in, in Phoenix, Arizona. That's right by, uh, right by Veritas. I used to go to Veritas too. Fuck Veritas. It was right by Ingleside. Veritas can suck it. I hate that school. That school's fucking horrible. Um, I am at the park skateboarding and I'm just going back and forth on the sidewalk and I am just like in my bag, like no one talked to me, headphones in, like I'm just skateboarding, I'm a skater guy now, I'm on the sidewalk, I'm scared to go in the street, I'm not good, but like I was cruising, I was knowing how to do it, so like I was learning how to skateboard and then I'm going and then I have my headphones in and then Doug goes, Whoa! And I was like, and I, I look and I, I lose my balance and I fall and I run and I try and stop myself and I go like that. And I was like, and I could not, I was like, could not, or, or did I fall on my elbow? Elbow. Oh my God. I fall and I go and say to myself like, I, I, like I'm falling and I was like, whoa, boom. And literally my elbow smashes into the ground. I get up, I'm like, oh, oh, and I go in a car, go back home, I'm like driving, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I have the opportunity of my life tomorrow, bro. Tomorrow I'm gonna be in a fucking Marvel movie. Like, oh no, my arm. I go home and I'm like, like, I don't, I don't, like, I don't know if I broke it. And my, dude, I was like, boonk. It was like so fucking swollen. And I'm just sitting there like, it's all over. Like, that, that was my big... Bro oh, let me tell you the music video for. Music video was for, if you know Lincoln Park, Chester Bennington, the late great, he had passed away, and uh, they were re-releasing music from his band that he, he was in before Lincoln Park called Grey Days. So I was going to be playing Chester Bennington in a music video. I was the star of the music video, blah, 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 blah. And uh, he was like a skater kid, so I was doing that. So I get home, I'm just like, fuck, like... Oh, I can't move my arm. How am I going to skateboard? How can I be in this video if I can't even move my arm? And I tell my mom, and we had, she had her friend staying with us, and I tell him, and he was like, and I was just like devastated. Like, this was my big opportunity, you know? And I just went to practice, and I fucked it all up. And I'm sitting there devastated, and he's like, well, 
well, you know, um, you can do this thing where like you can, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to help it. Like, I don't know how I'm going to help this. I can't even move my arm. And he was like, why don't you go get a cortisone shot? And I'm like, what? And I think that a cortisone shot, I'm not going to look it up because I don't care enough, but cortisone shot is basically a huge painkiller for like serious injuries. And this was like a joint thing. Like I was like, oh, dude, I can't, I couldn't move this. If I like, like I literally was like, if I went like this, it felt like the tension would have like snapped my arm in half. I was like, it was so messed up. And I was like, what, uh, what? And they're like, yeah, like you need to like, you need to go get a cortisone shot. And I'm talking to my mom, like, what the fuck? And she was like, I don't know, but she was going to help me out in getting this thing. So the next day, we go to a random doctor's office who's able to do that. And we go and tell him, I'm like, dude, I'm going to be in a music video. I need to be in this 100%. Like, I don't care what you have to do, but I need my arm to be better so I can be in this video. And he's like, all right, bet. Gives me a big shot in my arm. And now I'm like, I'm like, wow, I can't. So if you're looking at my arm right now, I could probably go to here. You know, this is my resting. I could probably go to here maximum. I was like, all right, well, I have more mobility in this arm. But, like, I could not be, like, fucking around with this at all. Like, it was, I had just barely made it. So I do that. And I remember sitting in the basement with my arm being okay. And I'm like, damn, you know, like, I, all right, well, my arm's kind of fixed. If I'm going to be in this video, like, if I fall when I'm skateboarding in the video, it's over for me. Like, I'm going to break my arm, and I'm, the video's going to get screwed up. I, the world's going to burn. You know what I mean? You think the world's on your shoulders. And so, I'm, uh, so let's say, next day, it's music video time, and I need to drive to Chandler. I need to drive an hour away to go be in this music video. I don't know what I'm getting myself into at all. I had never done anything, and this was more of an acting job than it was a, a modeling job. And I am blasting Linkin Park the whole time because I already just love Linkin Park. So uh, I'm blasting it, like trying to get in his headspace, like just like I don't know what I'm even trying to do, but I'm just drowning myself in Linkin Park to try and whatever that can bring me, just doing whatever I can. So here you go, I'm listening to Linkin Park. Um, and I get there and it's just showtime. It's like, all right, we're going to have you skateboard over here. All right, we're going to have you do this thing. You're going to talk with her, and you're going to laugh and take pictures of her. Then you're going to do that. And I'm like, all right, cool. It's like a small crew, maybe four or five people. I was pretty much riding around. No, like three, four people, me and this other girl. And she was like a pro skateboarder. She's badass. And um, she was like my best friend in the music video. And, yeah, we shoot the day one, and um, – it was chill. I was like, all right, well, and I remember thinking like, wow, everyone is at school right now. And here I am being filmed for a music video. Here I am being the star. I was like, and then I was getting free lunch. That was also the biggest thing is that I was getting free lunch. Like, wow, I'm getting free food. Everyone's being super nice to me. And I'm like the star of this show and I'm doing good at it. I was like, what a wonderful life this must be. And that started planting thoughts in my head, and I was like, what if I did chase my dreams of just, like, being Carrington all the time? And then, yeah, it was just cool. It was, it was really cool. It was felt like for the first time I was where I thought I should be. Like I, I felt like I was supposed to be doing big shit like that. And I did that. And so then the next day we go and uh, now this is more acting stuff. So first we're in like the house and they're like, we need you to lay on the couch and watch the TV and you need to walk out to the door and just be sad and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right, like let's go. And I'm just sitting there like I never have done acting in my life. And I'm just like, all right, sure, we're acting. And they're like, and I remember I was like watching the TV. And I get out of the TV and I go and I'm staring at the sun and outside. I'm like. And then that was that. And then they're like, all right, here's this next scene. 
they're setting up all this stuff in the bedroom now. So I'm in the bedroom now. And they're hanging up all these posters and I'm and I'm sitting there and I'm like in the bed. I'm like writing down like they're like, we need you to write down. We need you to be like super distraught. You need to be writing lyrics for your song. And, like, and I'm just like, and I'm, and I'm ripping the page out and I'm throwing it. I'm like, and I'm just, and I'm literally writing like Harrison is my best friend. I like, I'm just writing fucking stupid shit. And they're like, okay, great, great. Yeah, of course it's of course it's great. How could it not be great? And then, and then they're like, "All right, now we you need to go to the door. The door's locked." And I go to the door, and I'm like, "The door's locked." I'm like, "All right." And then, then you need to go. Then you need to go fall against the door. And I, I'm like, Ur, And I, I'm, this is what I did. This is what I did in the video. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, Ugh. and then I'm like, ah! I was uh, doing like a yell. And they're like, they need to get mad. I'm like, ha, ah, ah, ha, freaking out. And so that's in the video. So that was that. And I go to the skate park, and there's these like little skater kids being like kind of like shitheads. They're like, yeah, we need these kids in the video. So like Carrington, go walk over there, and they're gonna go bully you. So I walk over there, and they're all pushing me around. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then like my friend saves me, and we walk away. And then like we're filming skating stuff on gravel, and I'm like, all right, here we go. Like. It's time to find, it's time to find out that I don't know how to skateboard, but they just wanted me to go in a straight line. So I was like, all right, like, I don't look like I'm the best at skateboarding, but like, I was, I was skateboarding in the video, you know what I mean? So I, and then we cut and I go home, I'm like, wow. Like, wow, I just did a music video. Like, I can't believe it. And it takes so long for it to come out. And I'm blood checking every day. And then I see it premieres. And then it, I, I remember, I'm just like, I do that. And I'm just like, wow, it's super cool. But I'm not someone who, like, really talks about the shit you do. The shit that I do. Like, I might post about it when it comes out. But, like, you won't catch me saying, like, out of shoot for this fucking blah, blah, blah today. You know? And, uh... I remember I'm sitting in Spanish class. And I looked online... And I see that it, they're premiering it on, they're premiering it on, on YouTube. I'm like, fuck yeah. And I, I joined the wait thing for it. And, and it finally it's like three, two, and I'm waiting in my, and I'm waiting in my, in my Spanish class. And then it goes and I'm watching, I am watching myself be in a music video. Like it felt like I was watching a movie of myself for the very first time in my life. And I'm like, and then it ends and I'm just like, like, I'm the most famous person in the world. Cause that's how you feel. You're like, like I'm Brad Pitt. And it was just insane. But if I had not gone to learn how to skateboard, and then fucked up my arm because I didn't. I did not have to do it after that. I could have totally been like, my fucking elbow's broken. Like I don't know what happened, but like in the video, my arm doesn't extend past. Like there are times where I move my arm where I'm like, but I'm not showing it because I'm like, there's no way I'm letting the pain of this stop me from being in a freaking music video right now when I've done nothing in the entertainment industry my whole life. I'm like, I need to do this. So I just like ate the pain, got the shot, did the most I can, and just like fucking rocked. I didn't tell anyone that I broke my fucking thing. Like, why would I, why would I tell anyone that? W what good would that do besides like getting me out of the video and like, hope you feel better, mm, go fuck yourself, like whatever, dude. <laughs> and so, yeah, and I do that, and yeah, and then, so that was like my first acting job ever, and then, uh, now I live in LA. I'm a full time um, model. I'm also full time uh, social media, making YouTube videos. I'm I've done acting stuff. I since that video, I've done um, a Samsung commercial, a Pepsi commercial, and a uh, and a independent feature film uh, called Woodbridge that's coming out. I don't know when, but. 
yeah and uh, so tap into that if you want to see me act and then yeah but that was the story of uh I almost I almost couldn't do it anymore but I got the shot so thank god for science it's times like that that make you really appreciate that we live in the 21st century but yeah that's what's up this is my hat I made all by myself um and yeah, it's interesting how life always throws the biggest bullshit at you right when you're in front of your dream. Like, if you, like, I'd say the example of, like, if today of all, if you were going to write a song your whole life and today you're feeling super inspired to write a song and you know today's going to be your day to write your song, you go and you go to write your song and, you, you, and you're like, when I get home, I'm going to write the fuck out of this song. And you go home and when you go home, all the paper is mysteriously missing and you, your hand is cramping and your, and every pen is broken and out of ink. And it's like there is 0% chance you are going to do this thing. But like when you go through it, you get so much treasure when you're done. Like that's the dragon and all that's a treasure and you get a lot of treasure when you do beat the dragon. So it's interesting how life always has some bullshit happen to you right before you do something great. But it's in your best interest to persevere through it and not choose the easy way out and stagnancy um but yeah so that's awesome i love you guys thanks for watching you guys are the bomb.com that's my story time i don't really have a lot of story times i could talk about this time i got in a fight but i mean it's like but yeah all right love you guys you guys are the bomb peace